Hello everyone, I exalt here and I'm back with a new Mass Effect video. This time I'm bringing you some Mass Effect 3 and this is a new series. I intend on taking a completionist run of Mass Effect 3. It's the first on the channel and to begin with I'm going to take the same character that I used in Mass Effect 2. As far as the profile is concerned, I'm going to take Engineer, but I strongly suggest that you take the profile you feel the most familiar with. Oh, I'm going to play on Insanity. So I need to be able to have, you know, debuffing abilities, uh, crowd control abilities, and other abilities like the ability to strip shields as fast as I can, as well as a means to recover my shields. I'm going to explain that in a moment, but I need survivability as much as possible, so I need a power, a talent, that will give me the ability to restore my shields, and this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm taking Energy Drain, because this power will allow me to restore my shields whenever I want. So this is the uh, opening video, I'm going to be quiet now and to let you enjoy the video. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that... We should have prepared more. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You've faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done... Any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral.
Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Sol Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. Yeah, standing together. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Mass Effect 3 has a better opening scene in my opinion. I will be curious to know what your favorite game inside it is. They're massive! Come on, Shepard. Ashley's headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the spaceport. 
Let's move. So now I'm not following uh, Anderson for now. I'm first going to build my character. So if you use your Mass Effect 2 save, normally you should be around level 30, especially if you have played the DLCs. First, I need fitness. Energy drain to be able to restore my shields with barriers and by draining the shields or the barriers of another enemy. Cryo Blast for crowd control, as well as Energy Drain, Extended Drain is very useful for this as well. And I'm going to spam the Sentry Turret because the Engineer is not a character I play often in Mass Effect 3. This is the end of this first part, there is much to do, you just have to answer the dialogue options that you will have. And regardless of the answers you get to give, you will have morality points. The choice you make sort of determines whether your Shepherd will be Renegade or Paragon. Obviously you will continue what you have done in Mass Effect 2, uh, which I recommend if you want all the points and be able to unlock all the dialogue options, which we will. I put all my points in Tech Mastery because I need to be able to master my powers as fast as possible. And I put points especially in damage because I need to be able to strip shields and barriers as fast as I can, though barriers are going to be difficult. So you might probably be asking yourself, why am I playing Mass Effect 3? Why am I starting a 100% run on the third installment of such a famous series? Well, the answer is very simple. First, Mass Effect 3 is probably, and that might surprise you, is my favorite Mass Effect game of all. And second, because I'm not the only one interested in 100% runs, and as far as Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 are concerned, both are already being taken care of, so I'm not going to... You know, I don't want to infringe on the turf of other players by proposing my own run, though I eventually will, probably in French though, I don't know. I have like over 1000 hours on this game and I have played with all the profiles actually. Each time on Insanity, this is my favorite game after all. So what does 100% mean? It means that I'm going to play all the missions and assignments, though there is not really a distinction now between the two. And I will try to unlock all the uh, codex entries, so obviously I'm going to play the DLCs. I'll find all the objects in the world, and I will play a Paragon Shepherd, because I prefer playing a Renegade Female Shepherd. So thank you for watching this first part, not interesting I know, but this is also the perfect opportunity for me to present the run and we will be leaving Earth. Hopefully we will stay alive. Thank you for watching this video, see you in the next, bye.